Tape diagrams are also known as bar models. They provide a visual opportunity for students, and they are introduced early on in the primary grades, but they're used consistently from grade three and up. They promote accuracy with algebraic thinking. This is an example of a third grade problem using a tape diagram. Mrs. Smith bought four packs of yogurt. She had exactly enough to give each of her 24 students one yogurt cup. How many yogurt cups are there in one pack? So the first thing students should do is pull out the information from the word problem. The first thing they would pull out is that there are 24 yogurt cups. The second thing they would pull out is that there are four packs. This entire bar model or tape diagram represents those 24 yogurt cups. Because this entire bar right here is 24 yogurt cups, we have to look at the four packs and cut our diagram into four equal parts. Once they've split it into four, they're going to label the tape diagram with the question mark. And the question mark is, how many cups are there in one pack? So if students can do the math on the side and they know their math facts, they would write out the math problem, which is 24 cut into four equal groups or divided by four is equal to six. If they can't, and it's still early for them, they would take the 24 yogurt cups and sort them equally into the four pack or group. And they would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then the students can easily see here that there are six cups. This is an example of a fourth grade tape diagram word problem. Mrs. Jones cut a small birthday cake into six equal pieces for six children. One child was not hungry, so she gave the birthday boy the extra piece. We're going to draw a tape diagram to show how much cake the five children each got. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to a number bond. A number bond is a part-whole relationship. And we're going to show that there are six out of six pieces in the birthday cake. So the birthday cake is cut into six pieces. Then we're going to fan off the five children. One, two, three, four, five. Our number bond is going to match our tape diagram. So because we know that there are six pieces in the cake, we're going to take our tape diagram and cut it into six equal pieces. Now we're going to take part of the word problem and label our tape diagram. We're going to label it with the children. So we have child one getting one piece of cake. Child two is getting one piece of cake. Child three, one piece of cake. Child four, one piece of cake. And we know that that one child didn't want the piece, so the last child is going to get two pieces. So child five will have two pieces. We're going to count just to make sure we have the correct amount of pieces. One six, two six, three six, four six, five six, six six. And then we're going to go back over to our number bond to match our tape diagram. On our number bond, we're going to label each child with what they ate. One six, one six, one six, one, six, and that last child ate two out of six. Then we can give the addition sentence for fourth grade using addition of fractions. We know that six out of six is equal to one, six, 
plus one six plus one six plus one six plus one six. Well, we have four six, but we know that last child had two six. So we need to make sure our last fraction matches that picture here. This is an example of a fifth grade word problem using a case diagram to solve. Mr. Peterson bought a case or 24 boxes of fruit juice. One third of the drinks were grapes and two thirds were cranberry. How many boxes of each flavor did Mr. Peterson buy? So what the students need to do is to look for the fraction that's mentioned in the word problem. And the fraction that's mentioned is thirds. So because it's thirds, we're going to take that tape diagram and cut it into three equal parts. Once that is done, we have to pull out the facts. We know that there are 24 boxes of juice. So now that we know that there are 24 boxes and there are cut, they are cut in thirds, we need to take the 24 and sort them into the three groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we know we're halfway there, so we can visually stop and look at it. Twelve, counting on thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Now that we've sorted out the twenty-four boxes, we're going to label this with 24. That's what the picture represents. So now the question asks us how much of each type of flavor there was. So we're going to pull out the two fractions they're looking for. They're looking for one third of the total 24 boxes, and they want to know how many that is. And then they want to know what is two thirds of that same 24 sorted. Now if we look at the tape diagram, you can see that one third has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inside, and that our two thirds, the remainder over here, has eight plus eight, which is are beginning to draw tape diagrams, it's sometimes difficult for them to know how to draw the straight lines or how big to make the rectangles. So one of the things we use in class that could also be used at home is the use of graph paper. It's very helpful to kids. 